It's the Million Dollar Organizer Show, tips for professional union organizers. Win more campaigns, balance work and family, and leave the competition in the dust. Now here's your host, Bob Odie. Hello, union organizers and future union organizers. Welcome to podcast episode number 56. We are proud to be part of the Labor Radio Network. And as part of the network, each podcaster has been asked to cover a subject in advance of Labor History Month. Today's subject, the Triangle Shirtwaist Fire. It's important as organizers that we have some knowledge of labor history, the struggles that ordinary workers have endured over time. One of the deadliest industrial disasters in the history of New York took place on Saturday, March 25, 1911, around 4.40 p.m. The Triangle Shirtwaist Company employed 500 mostly immigrant females. Back then, a shirtwaist is what they called a woman's blouse. The fire took the lives of 146 garment workers. There were 78 others badly injured. Most of the victims died of smoke inhalation. Others were burned or jumped from windows to their deaths. The youngest of the victims were just 14 years old. Can you imagine? This story gripped the public and people demanded answers. How could this happen? It later was revealed in the newspapers that management had locked or chained the exit doors. You heard that right. They locked the exit doors. Management said they wanted to stop the girls from taking unscheduled breaks and to prevent thefts. Mind you, the Triangle Shirtwaist Company was located on the 8th, 9th, and 10th floor. The building was equipped with fire escapes. I'm sure management probably told the workers, don't worry, if there's ever a fire will come unlock the doors. That's what makes this disaster so horrific. Besides the fact that people were burned to death, it didn't have to happen. It was all management's fault. Greed overtook worker safety. It reminds me of an interview I saw recently on YouTube. There was this woman who survived the sinking of the Titanic as a child. The Titanic sank in 1912, around this time. She said no one should have died on the Titanic. It took two and a half hours for the ship to sink. It was all greed. If they had enough lifeboats, everyone would have survived. For me, the Triangle Shirtwaist Fire is a similar story. It really resonates. You have the poor garment workers working in sweatshop conditions. You have managers so careless they endanger everyone's lives. One can only imagine the loss the victims' families must have felt. There's the guilt the survivors had to live with. And don't underestimate the pain of the injured and burned. The building still stands to this day at 23 Washington Place. It's a national landmark. I invite you to search Triangle Shirtwaist Company online. Look at the faces of the girls at their workstations. They don't look very happy. See the unsafe conditions they were made to endure. See the huge piles of textiles blocking egress. Read some of the headlines and newspaper clippings. The story went worldwide. Look for the photos of the relatives trying to identify their loved ones. Identical open caskets lined up with partially burned bodies on display. There are photos of policemen standing beside bodies of the women who jumped to their deaths, reduced to just clumps of clothing and hair. I promise you, you will be moved. There are dozens of books about the fire and others that explain what workers were up against around this period. My favorite is Diary of a Shirtwaist Striker by Teresa S. Malkiel. We must never forget the sacrifice these young women paid. And there's an annual event to mark the occasion and make sure that we never do. This disaster resulted in safety regulations and standards that affect us to this day. The Triangle Shirtwaist Fire is just one of many important events in labor history. It's one that's left an impression on me. What is one event you relate to? Is it a strike, a march, a sit-in, a protest, or a speech? What subject would you have chosen to cover? Comment below because I really want to know what your thoughts are. Are you or someone you know looking to get hired as a union organizer? Or maybe you're new and haven't quite figured out how to succeed. There's an online course that can save you a ton of heartache and hassles. It's called Get Hired as a Union Organizer. 
Take advantage of our lifetime access, on-demand videos, downloadable resources, and certificate of completion. If you're not satisfied for any reason, it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You have absolutely nothing to lose. Go to gethiredasaunionorganizer.com. That's gethiredasaunionorganizer.com. Enter coupon code UNION101 to save 10% off the purchase price. Do it today. The price will be going up very soon, so don't wait. Thanks for listening. We hope that you'll subscribe to the show on Apple Podcasts or anywhere you listen to podcasts. Give us a five-star review and let us know what you'd like to hear the Million Dollar Organizer talk about. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Union Organizer. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.